things. The road to nomination looking smooth for Vice President Harris tonight, so the next big announcement could be her choice for running mate. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz is reportedly on the short list. And our Corn Hoggard talked to the governor today, and he joins us now. So, Corn, what did the governor have to say about being on the ticket, possibly, and a history-making visit that the VP made to Minnesota a few months ago? Well, Kelsey and Randy, he didn't have a lot to say about the potential Harris Walls ticket, but he did tell me her visit here in March gave a glimpse of why he's excited to have her the Democrats nominee. Within hours of President Biden's decision to step aside in the 2024 election, Vice President Kamala Harris was on the phone with Governor Tim Walls. I said I'll be there to do whatever I can to help. Whether that's joining the ticket, he won't say. Walls wouldn't share whether he discussed it or if he's being vetted. But he enthusiastically praised the vice president, especially for her groundbreaking appearance in St. Paul when she became the first sitting VP or president to visit an abortion clinic. So I'm here at this health care clinic to uplift the work that is happening in Minnesota. We have someone who had the courage to stand in a reproductive health clinic for the first time in American history and to say we're going to protect reproductive rights. Republicans have launched fresh critiques on Harris, calling her a San Francisco liberal and teasing some Willie Horton style attacks like the ones that helped sink Michael Dukakis in 1988. But Walls says her rise is energizing Democrats. His daughter let him know TikTok is filled with positive videos. And former President Trump's social media posts Tuesday include a mention of Walls himself. There's lots of excitement. Um, I think things have changed when Donald Trump's tweeting at me today. So that tells me that maybe we've changed the discussion in America. And Walls is also the co-chair of the Democratic Convention Rules Committee. They're finalizing those rules this week, and he says candidates can still throw their names in the ring now, but he expects a smooth nomination, and he won't have any say in who becomes the VP candidate. That's completely up to the presidential nominee, who he expects to be Harris. Corn Hoggart, Fox 9. All right, Corn, thank you. President Biden announcing he was ending his re-election campaign on Sunday through a letter, but we haven't heard him speak publicly about it yet. That is happening tomorrow, however. He'll address the nation from the Oval Office at 7 o'clock. We'll have that for you live here on Fox 9, on Fox Local, and Fox9.com.